making cables today for the inverter and today I'm using two hot wire it's actually welding lead this really cool packet for crimping crimping them on and so we'll cut the wire I'm making my cables 20 inches long between 16 and 20 I cut some of each A little bit of a bind on it. I'm going to go closer to 18. The crimper is really nice. Crimps it on just tight. It's called a manual hydraulic crimper. I'll trim my wire for the end of the lug. So it goes all the way in. You don't want to apply too much pressure and take off any of the strands of wire so that just skimming it and the insulation can tear off. There it is. I was going to buy these lugs on Amazon and a manual crimper that you use a ball peen hammer you would set that in there give it a good old whack but I was referring conferring with an electrician friend of mine he's a co electrical contractor he says well just borrow my stuff you can pay me after you know what you used Dropped off a string of welding lead. It is crimper. So go to it. So that's what I'm doing. It's awful nice living in the small town. I'm uh, holding the wire in with my thumb and middle finger and holding it tight against the crimp crimping tools so when it's tight doesn't accidentally slide out before it's tight. There's the bottom. So the trick to these, if you look right here, the, you rotate the handle. When I rotate the handle, it opens up right to here to push the release. And then down here, you'll be able to see the jaws open back up. like that. That's one very good end. This other end I'm going to put this opposite direction so it'll clamp on the battery like this and this one on the bottom will be facing up so I don't have to twist the wire. The weather moved me inside to finish up the battery cables. You can see that uh, it's got a little bit of open end on some of them. All of the connectors have this open end on them. So I'm going to fill them with the OxyGuard I just bought at the Ace store. And I'm cutting my shrink wrap a little shorter or longer than I'd like to I'm using 2 inch so I can try to cover the end here to seal it. See about oxidation. And then, of course, cover here. Have to be cognitive not to get the end too far down, uh, where it has to make contact on the on the post or wherever it's going to make its connection. Uh, this one didn't seal down to as tight as I'd like, so I smeared in some of that grease. That one looks all right.
This is three quarter inch shrink wrap. I don't have a heat gun. Voilà. I'm making my uh, clamps, wire clamps, out of plumber strap. It was uh, two bucks at my hardware store, and I bought two foot of this plastic pipe, uh, three quarter inch, or it's five eighths, and I bought two foot, and it slips on like that and you can put your wire your cables in screw it down and it works out pretty nice